We now uh, welcome former NT NTSB Chairman Mark Rosenker uh, by phone. And uh, Mark, again, the nature of the threat with regard to the aircraft we are seeing at the extreme southwestern corner of LAX uh, is not known. Um, to the best of your knowledge, if, if only for sake of procedure, uh, what is it that we may in fact be watching here? Well, again, I don't have benefit of the pictures given the fact I'm in London right now. Ah. Uh, but clearly, uh, we ha we don't know what was said, what the threat from the caller was, but clearly it was enough to uh, uh, take a uh, full precautions in order to keep the aircraft away from uh, any of the gate area or other aircraft. So they are basically uh, surrounding that airplane in some way, shape, or form to make sure that uh, and to keep people away from it and to be looking if they see any extraneous issues uh, either in the wheel wells or, or, or uh, any of the uh, 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 that's primarily all they can see without getting into the airplane and into the baggage area. We did see uh, a black armored vehicle make its way in a circuitous route. Rather than uh, heading directly to uh, the plane itself, it made a circuitous route and parked uh, to the rear of the aircraft theoretically out of view, uh, uh, out of any sight line from someone looking from inside the aircraft out. We saw six officers then uh, leave the vehicle, make their way underneath the belly of the plane. Uh, and now we see five of those six, uh, by my count, uh, at, the f at the wheel well of the, of the front landing gear. It is unclear if they are inspecting or uh, perhaps hiding from view again. Um, Obviously, Mark, with uh, the global context of uh, the age in which we live, with uh, what we saw happen uh, just uh, days ago uh, with the Egypt Air Flight 804 and uh, the attacks made at, uh, in, we in Western European capitals, of course, in Brussels at the airport, the heightened state of, of airport security being what it is, it is very apparent here, if nothing else, that uh, it is better to be safe here and, and, and proceed with extraordinary caution? You're absolutely correct. And, and clearly that it would be irresponsible if they did not act this way. But with that said, typically uh, we don't see people calling ahead of time uh, and then all of a sudden we see something. Uh, that is absolutely extremely rare. But still, we're dealing in some very unique times right now and anything could happen. So they are doing the right thing by uh, making sure that the aircraft is uh, away from either the gate areas or any other aircraft. And they've got, I am sure, uh, the uh, emergency uh, equipment such as the fire uh, trucks and any ambulances standing by.